Today, I'm playing in the first tournament of season four. Not only is it the first tournament, but it's also the biggest tournament. There's no FNCS this season, which makes the console tournaments the biggest prize pool tournaments in the game. And last time I played a PlayStation Cup, I said I would never do it again. For one reason, playing keyboard and mouse on console is one of the hardest things to do. But because there was no other tournaments going on, I decided to give it one more chance. And during my warmup, I was kind of moving here, which led me to going into my first game super confident and looking to take some fights. But not only that, this is the craziest thing. It's 30 points for a win, but if you capture the island flag, it is worth 15 points. So in my first game, I'm going for that flag. In this new flag meta, you literally just have to play super patient and smart and then win the heal off to get the flag. So that's exactly what I did and I managed to get into the zone safely. Now it's just time to clutch up and get the dub. I may have choked at the end, but that first game sent me straight to top 100, which is a pretty crazy start considering my best placement in a PlayStation Cup is top 1600. So we just gotta keep this momentum going forward and it's gonna be a good tourney. Game two, I died early on, but that's fine. Game three, I'm playing super safe and for the end game here.
After two solid games, I'm still right around top 100. So game four, we got the same game plan, play super safe all the way to end game. And sure enough, I made it there once again, but this one was the most stacked game so far. All right, top five, let's go baby. That's pretty good. This is probably the most consistent console Fortnite I have ever played. We are still right around top 100, but game five is where things start to get a little sketch. I was so stacked right here. Max mats, max heals, but I got a few max pull zones in a row and on each of those pulls, I was getting fried left and right. I was burning through mats. And by the time I got to the moving zones, I have never been more shambles in my life. It's gonna take a miracle to pull this around. And just like that, I fell down the leaderboard 200 places. And this is where it hit me. If I'm gonna get top 50 and qualify to the finals, I'm gonna need to play a bit more alpha. So I got a quick kill off spawn, but right here, I get full surprised out of nowhere. I absolutely rolled that player and now I'm stacked going into endgame. So I decided to play this out because I feel like I can win it. Okay, maybe not. Now I'm left with one choice, alpha up right now. So the next game, I head to the island. I was here for a solid seven minutes and I don't care. I was not leaving. I probably should have left. And the rest of the tourney was terrible and I got like five points in the second half of this tourney. <laughs> this is why I don't play console, bro. Whenever there's hope, it just gets ripped away from me by an absolute beam. It's all good though. It was fun. I felt like I learned the meta a little bit, so I'm still glad I played. And cash cups are starting up, so stay tuned. Lots of content coming. Check out the creative maps down below and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.